What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video for Astro for Dummies. Today we're gonna to talk about how to attach an electronic focuser from ZWO to an Explore Scientific Refractor Telescope. Some tools that you will need is gonna be a two millimeter Allen key, along with a three millimeter Allen key. You're gonna need the bracket as well, obviously of course. And also you're gonna make sure you need to pick out the correct adapter that e the ZWO provides for you to go on the shaft here. Now what you don't see is obviously the coarse knob. These focusers on an electronic focuser always goes on the coarse side and it's easily removable right there with two millimeter Allen key. If you're not sure what tool to get within starting into this hobby, I could strongly recommend a digital pair of calipers. These things are great. They can help you measure, hey, what kind of batten off mask do I need to get? I need to figure out how to measure the outside of a dew shield. With this thing, it makes it simple. I can do it in inches or millimeters, depending on what I need to get done. But this will help you figure out what kind of adapters you mainly need to get and ones that you need to get. Um, so also, two extra tools that you're gonna need. These are gonna be M4 by 70 pitch, that's the thread here. And it's gonna be 25 millimeters long from head to end. I can't grab them, here, we'll just do this. So it's 25 millimeters long from the head to the end. And that's what's gonna hold on the bracket to for the ZWO EAF. So let's get started in putting this thing on. So again, I've already taken off the coarse focus knob with my two millimeter. So now all we gotta do is just slide on. So I can adjust. Okay, I got that bracket on. Okay, I don't want to get that too tight yet because I still got to put on the screws. I need to take out this other set screw here that holds in the focuser wheel. Now I need to use the one that's over here to go back try not to get it tight yet we want it to be just secured for now until we can establish that we are level tight quarter quarter what I want to do now is just slowly tighten 
here, slowly tighten right here. Tight, tighten. Now, reason to be completely level with any electronic focuser is to not bind. Now we do realize that with the EAF, it has some slits to create or to at least adjust for some friction or binding issue. But the more level you are, the better you're gonna have that possibility of doing any of that. That's it. That is literally how you install an EAF focuser to an Explore Scientific focuser. I didn't do any modifications to it. The only thing that was different is I just attached longer bolts. Again, those these are four millimeter metric by 0 0.70 pitch by 25 millimeters. That's it. I couldn't, I did not have any luck finding these at Lowe's. Um, I had to go to an actual specialty store here in town to do this. But again, all we did was it take off the coarse focus knob with the Allen. It exposed the flat side of the focus knob. We attached the adapter to the actual EAF focuser. It also has a flat spot for the Allen grub screws to grab a hold of. Did the same thing on the actual focuser for the Explore Scientific. Made sure that the grub screw was attached as well to the flat side. <clears throat> Then we attached the back end of the bracket to support the EAF. We didn't tighten it. We just, for security purposes only, just to keep it secure. And then we took off the bolts, which well, they were already done, uh, except this one. Took these out and put in the longer ones. One thing that you didn't see, and I do apologize for that, is there is a bigger grub screw sitting right here. It's a lot bigger. That'll come with your Explore Scientific scopes. It's perfectly fine to leave this open. It's not gonna hurt anything, but you do have to take it out before you do any type of attachment of this scope. If there ain't anything else, guys, don't hesitate to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, please. And we'll see you next time. Hope you guys have clear skies and keep looking up. Oh, well,